this six foot eight demigod iso build gets a 92 perimeter defense so you get the gold badges of a pure lockdown defender gets a 92 mid range so you get all gold shooting badges like a pure sharpshooter gets an 89 driving dunk in 78 vertical so you unlock all the pro contact dunk animations and on top of all that has nearly a maxed out speed and maxed out agility so you are as fast as a six foot eight can possibly be oh and speaking of fast did i mention that we're gonna use our max plus one on lightning launch which will give us gold lightning launch to compete against the small guard i even found a way to get legend challenger or legend glove on this build yeah this video is gonna be insane today we make a six foot eight that can iso play lockdown defense green from narnia in slash with the best of them what's up simply squad it's your boy build guru grinding and i need y'all to drop a like right now because the second this video hits 1k likes i will drop a six foot three john moran offensive menace build that gets a 93 driving dunk which means you get gold posterizer as well as all the best contact dunks in the entire game a 94 three point rating which means you get every shooting badge on gold with limitless range being able to upgrade to hall of fame and at the same time a 93 ball handling rating which gives you hall of fame lightning launch that we can upgrade to legend lightning launch yeah i know that build is insane so make sure you subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss out on that even if you think yourself do me a favor and check real quick just to make sure now we have a six foot eight demigod iso build to make and explain so let's get into it all right y'all here we go we got two versions of this build we need to talk about one with higher shooting and a lower wingspan and one with lower shooting and a higher wingspan the one i talked about in the intro is the first one we're gonna cover which is the higher shooting and lower wingspan build because i just think at the start of 2k it's just nice to have higher shooting badges so you can green more often also in this video i'm gonna fully explain cap breakers and max plus one so if you're still confused about that don't worry i got you so first if y'all don't know 2k capped the height of point guard builds the tallest height you can be as a point guard is six foot seven so this build is gonna be a shooting guard don't worry it doesn't change anything it's just this year the only way to make a six eight is to go shooting guard or higher and then we're gonna get into the builder and the first attribute we're gonna upgrade is our driving dunk to an 89 and our vertical to a 78 the reason for that is because that will unlock both pro contact dunk animations that you can unlock in the animation screen you couldn't see it at community day but they released the info to us after so you want to make sure that if you're getting posterizer you can also get the animations that come with it and speaking of posterizer this is a good time to explain how max plus one in cap breakers work so we have an 89 driving dunk which of course gives us silver posterizer but we can get this to gold if we want to and the way to do that is after you get any badge that your build can get to max level so in this case once we get silver posterizer in game once we've unlocked that badge we can activate something called a max plus one that's going to be in our season pass which will raise the level of your badge by one tier and this max plus one is special because it ignores everything in the builder what i mean by that is even if we weren't able to get gold posterizer in the builder which in this case we are but even if we weren't we could still raise our posterizer tier to gold even if we couldn't unlock it in the builder here to better explain it let me use an example of a badge that we actually cannot get in the builder and that's of course gonna be lightning launch on gold we have a 78 speed with ball which is only enough to get it silver and similar to last year six eights can't get that high of a speed of ball to get gold lightning launch but with this new max plus one badge once we unlock silver lightning launch in game we can activate our max plus one on it and we will have gold lightning launch on this build i need y'all to realize how much of a game changer this is you are gonna be speed boosting on a six foot eight demigod build and also you get two max plus ones per season at the end of the season they're gonna reset but you get two max plus ones every single season so once we're done with this build i want you to comment down below what are the two best badges in your eyes that you would use a max plus one on for this build i want to hear y'all's thoughts so don't be a beta and participate but right now this build isn't a demigod we gotta get it there so we gotta upgrade our ball handle to an 86 obviously that's gonna give us a bunch of silver playmaking badges but more importantly it's gonna give us access to the most amount of dribble move animations in the animation screen as possible and just in case y'all didn't watch my my player builder breakdown if you haven't watched that i recommend going watching that no matter what you do you cannot get higher than an 86 ball handle on a six foot eight build but the good news is there are a ton of dribble moves that are gate kept at 85 and below so we're gonna have access to a lot of moves not all of them but a lot now it's time we turn up the heat on this build 
we get a 92 perimeter defense and it's actually gonna be a lot higher than 92. This is a perfect time for me to explain cap breakers to you. So yes, in the builder I made my perimeter defense a 92 but as you can see there is room there for me to upgrade and because there's room for me to be able to upgrade I am allowed to use one of my 15 cap breakers to increase this stat to its max after the build has already been made. Now a couple things you need to know about cap breakers. One, we do not know how hard or easy they are to get. So yes, it would have been easy to just make my mid-range an 87 and say I'll cap breaker to 92 and then I'll cap breaker my perimeter defense to 95. But what happens if you don't get your cap breakers until you're near the end of the rep system? You're going to be playing with a mediocre build for the majority of the year. So my best advice to y'all is yes, utilize the cap breaker system, but don't utilize it so often that your build relies on it to succeed. And the next thing you need to know about cap breakers is you cannot use a cap breaker on a stat that is already maxed out. So for example, my speed with ball is maxed out at a 78 or a 79. I cannot use a cap breaker to get my speed with ball to an 83 or an 84. And 2K did that intentionally because that would break the builder. Tall builds would be running rampant everywhere. So again, you have to have room in your stat to use cap breakers and you don't want to make it to where your build relies on them. And the last thing you need to know about cap breakers is that you're going to get 15 of them throughout your time playing NBA 2K25. When are you going to get them? How hard or easy is it to get? We don't know that yet. We'll know that on day one. Make sure to subscribe with notifications on so you find out the second I do. But anyways, back to the build. The perimeter defense is going to be a 92, but in reality, it can go all the way up to either 95 or 96. Honestly, I don't remember which one, but it doesn't matter because at 95, you get Hall of Fame Challenger. I am for sure using one of my max plus ones on lightning launch to get it to go. And what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to use my cap breakers to get my perimeter defense to a 95 and then max plus one the hall of fame challenger to get legend challenger yeah y'all heard that right the six foot eight ice wing sharpshooter finishing lockdown now gets a legend badge at six foot eight just an absolutely insane build so let's finish it up so you can see the full picture we got a 92 perimeter defense and we're gonna match that with an 85 steel which of course gives us silver glove if it's anything like 2k24 silver glove will still be very effective if gold glove is just super op again which by the looks of some of the clips it might be we don't really know until the game comes out then i could give up my dream of legend challenger and just go gold glove again i'm gonna save my max plus ones until we know more about the game but trust me i'm gonna use it the best way possible and then we're also gonna get an 83 and then we're also gonna get an 83 three-point rating so not only are we gonna get the best shooting badges because of our 92 mid-range we're also gonna have access to the best jump shots that a six foot eight could get if six foot eights can get kobe bryant if six foot eights can get t-mac if six foot eights could get ben shepherd whatever the meta jump shot is this year we're gonna be able to get on this build and then finally to finish it off i went with an 86 speed and 80 agility and then a 60 strength to get bronze physical finisher and bronze strong handle now one thing i would change about this build if i could go back to community day and get back in this builder is i would probably lower the speed and then raise my agility because again if you didn't watch my breakdown video agility controls your lateral defense i did not go a 92 perimeter defense to still be slow on defense i would try to raise my agility to around an 83 84 and then keep my speed at around an 80 to an 82 because it's just how fast i sprint on like fast breaks and going for lane which don't get me wrong is important but i think that agility is just much more important this year by far so a quick recap of the build you get contact dunks you're an ice wing build you get all the best removes in the game you're as fast as humanly possible with the ball because your speed with ball is maxed out you have a 92 primitive defense and 85 steel that is mini lockdown stats and you can iso with this build your speed and agility are nearly maxed out they're going to change a little bit once i get on the builder on the real game but they're nearly maxed out and finally you can shoot lights out with the best jump shots in the entire game if this is not a demigod build i don't know what is and the build name i got is a two-way three level shot creator which i'm not gonna lie describes the build pretty perfectly but still not my favorite build name now that we covered the higher shooting version of this build really quick let's go over the lower shooting version of this build with a higher wingspan for my 2k players out there that are confident they'll be able to shoot on day one with any three-point rating imaginable. The major change here is that we went with my 2K24 starting build 6'8 stats, which is a 78 three-point rating and an 85 midi, which of course gives you silver shooting badges, but I didn't go the midi for that. I went the midi so we could have access to good jump shots even with a lower three-point rating. Now, the true main difference of this build is that you have a lot more attributes to work with now, so you can either choose to go back to 92 perimeter defense and then just upgrade your steel and agility a little more, or you can choose to go 91 steel and get gold glove.
love if you think that badge is going to be more overpowered than Challenger. Put your Cap Breakers into Steel so you get a 96 Steel, which will give you Hall of Fame Glove. And then max plus one your Hall of Fame Glove for Legend Glove on a 6 foot 8 ISO build. Listen, y'all, in the comments right now, I need you spamming COOK in all caps if you think I cooked with this build. Also, with the higher wingspan version, you do get a higher block rating, which will give you Bronze Pain Patroller and Bronze High Flyer. And if you make this version of the build, you still get the name Two Way Three Level Shot Creator. Now, final thoughts the only weaknesses this build could have in y'all's eyes is one strength. If you're a super strength head, you love strength. You might not like this build, but I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. For a build that can do all four of those things at a high level, you have to sacrifice something, and I will happily sacrifice strength, especially being the height we are. And two, for some reason, y'all always think that 70 pass accuracy isn't enough. Honestly, I was gonna go 60 if I knew y'all wouldn't be mad at me for going that low of a pass accuracy. If it was up to me, I'd go with 60 pass accuracy because in every other 2K, it has worked perfectly fine. But I kept it safe and I went a 70. If you need more than a 70 pass accuracy, you're either playing exclusively fives or your IQ just isn't there yet, which is perfectly fine. Just play the game more and you will figure stuff out. But if you can make reads, 70 pass accuracy will be more than enough. You're not gonna notice a huge difference, I promise you. And if it turns out I'm wrong, I will dress up in my little mascot costume I have in real life and I will dance around and say I'm wrong on video for 10 seconds straight hold me to that. But anyways, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this six foot eight demigod build. Let me know y'all's thoughts in the comments. I'm excited to see what y'all say. And I will see you tonight with a small guard John Morant build. Thank y'all so much for watching. I love you all. And as always, keep grinding. Falling. Falling. Okay, we never be falling. Yeah. Retro, she never be calling. Still hitting shots while they steady be taunting. Falling. Falling. Okay, we never be falling. Retro, she never be calling. Still hitting shots while they